meteorologist Chris Boone. These temperatures throughout our afternoon over these past couple of hours, just a little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, only getting to those 80s for those afternoon highs. We reached those 90s for much of the Concho Valley. Actually, looking at how some of that afternoon played out, saw those mostly clear and sunny skies earlier this afternoon. Saw some of those mid to low and some high level clouds as well start to move into the area. We've seen a mix of those clouds across much of the Concho Valley. Actually, looking at that satellite and radar, and that's pretty present across much of the state and seeing some of those storms also start to pop up just outside of the Concho Valley again off towards those northern portions of the state and just off towards the west of the Concho Valley hopefully moving into the Concho Valley over these next several hours as we zoom in a little bit closer to home we see those showers just right on the edge of our area peeking into the Concho Valley. Parts of Crockett County could start to see some of those rumbles of thunder here in the next several hours. And that hopefully we'll start to see some of those rumbles of thunder across much of the area over these next several hours. Those current temperatures right now in San Angelo, 90 degrees, dew point at 65. Pretty humid out there. Humidity sitting at 42%. And even seeing those winds out of the southwest at six miles per hour, They're fairly calm, and we've been seeing them fairly calm over these past several hours as well. And those current temperatures across the Concho Valley, seeing a mix of those 80s and 90s, those 90s across much of those southern portions of the Concho Valley, 90 in Mason, Junction, Sonora, and Ozona, and seeing some of those lower 90s for those northern parts as well, 91 in San Angelo, Sterling City, and Robert Lee, and then the rest of us sitting in those 80s, and all of us seeing that increase as compared to what we saw yesterday seeing that big increase for much of the area and those bigger increases out towards the west 13 degree increase for big lake as well as ozona we'll see a little bit of a decrease for our afternoon tomorrow as we go in towards the rest of our evening we'll start to drop as we pass sunset around 8 p.m and then we'll start to cool down as we go through the rest of that evening into those 70s and back into those mid 60s for those overnight lows actually looking at that forecast for tonight 64 for that low those isolated storms really move into the area that rain chance at 30 percent with those mostly cloudy skies overnight and those winds out of the south southeast and seeing some of those fairly gusty conditions associated with those storms as those storms really start to develop into the Concho Valley but mostly out of the south southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour and that forecast for tomorrow a little bit cooler than what we saw this afternoon only in those upper 80s for some of us some of us only maxing out into those low 80s but 87 for us here in San Angelo and those winds out of the southeast around 10 miles per hour for that afternoon tomorrow and still seeing some of those rain chances for us tomorrow Tomorrow. Looking at that severe weather outlook for the rest of our afternoon today, we saw yesterday some of those slight areas just barely peeking into those northern counties, but actually seeing that slight area reach way further south than it did yesterday. And the main concern with this is going to be that hail threat as well as those higher winds with that wind association with those storms as they start to move into the area. Actually looking at that future cast, how most of these storms are predicted to plan out through these next several hours, seeing them start to kind of peek into the area for those later portions of the night reaching in towards 9 p.m. That's when some of those showers will start to reach into those northern portions of the Concha Valley and they'll really start to move south. Some of those slightly severe conditions and possibly reaching into portions of Tom Green County then moving off towards the east and they'll continue to move east as we go through the rest of the night and then bringing some clouds as we look towards that Wednesday and Wednesday seeing another shot at some showers for those evening hours once again following that similar pattern to what we've been seeing for these past several evenings those evening showers and then still seeing some of those isolated storms for that Wednesday night and as well as that Thursday looking towards those Thursday conditions and those winds again that's going to be the main concern as we look towards those showers for tonight seeing those fairly gusty conditions as those showers really start to arrive this mostly for those hours after midnight and for those overnight hours as we look towards those very late hours for tonight and then we'll start to cool down, calm down as we look towards tomorrow's winds. And a look at that seven-day forecast. Still holding on to the chance to see some showers. And in those 80s, 